While the COVID-19 vaccine rollout has faced challenges around the country, the Associated Press is reporting that West Virginia's vaccine rollout seems to be a success. The AP says part of the success is that the state is using mom and pop pharmacies to give out vaccinations and not depending only on federal partnerships with pharmacy chains such as CVS and Walgreens. More than 200 pharmacists have set up clinics in rural communities to help administer vaccines. An old iPhone feature may be making a comeback. Apple is reportedly thinking about bringing Touch ID back. The fingerprint sensor went away in 2017 as Apple started phasing out iPhone home buttons. Face ID has frustrated users over the past year as they've worn masks during the pandemic. But the next generation of iPhones would give users the option of how they'd like to unlock their phones. Ford's Thunderbird could be making a comeback. The car maker has filed a new trademark application for the Thunderbird. Ford hasn't confirmed any plans for such a model, but it has brought back some of its legacy names in recent years, including the upcoming Bronco. Thunderbird was last used in 2005, and it could potentially find its way onto a future electric car. The light show continues in Italy. Mount Etna, Europe's largest active volcano, put on a spectacular display over Sicily overnight. The volcano spewed lava high into the air and streaming down the slopes. The eruption is not posing a risk to the local population. Happy birthday to Dolly Parton. The country superstar turned 75 today. The singer-songwriter is also known for her philanthropic work, most recently donating $1 million to research for a COVID-19 vaccine. There you go, five things to know before you go to bed.